Hey guys, it's Carrie. Today I want to share with you three tips to creating a blog post that sells. So when you're making your blog post, what do you think is the first thing you need to come up with? It's your headline. So when you're creating your headline, you want it to be something that's going to be catchy and that's going to get their attention, but also that they feel they're going to get some information that they need and that they are looking for. So creating your blog title, you want to have something in it say that is relatable. So a lot of blogs, people will, or even ads, people will say things like stay at home mom. See that's something that calls their attention because it's something they can relate to. Then you would say something like makes $12,000. Well if you say something like that then they're like ooh I could use $12,000. And then you would say something to the effect where they've come back from a hardship or um, they're you know rising above the ashes or um, after hitting rock bottom, something like that that the person can relate to. So when you have a headline that um, calls out to a certain person, it um, fills a need that they have, it's something that they can relate to, then they get their eyes on it and they're like, I want to read this. So that is your first step to creating a blog post that sells. The second step would be to um, use numbers in your headline and in, in your description. So you might want to say, like I said with this blog, three steps to creating a blog that sells. Well, when you have those numbers in there, for some reason people just think, I have to know what the three things are. So if you use that in your headline and in your story, people are drawn in because they really want to see what it is that you have in those just three things, you know, that's going to solve their problem or give them the answers that they've been looking for. So that would be the next step that you would, you know, use to create a blog post that sells. And then the third thing would be to talk to them like you would talk to your friend, the, the way that I'm talking to you, so that they feel that they know you and they like you. You're building a relationship with this audience, so then these people feel safe coming to you asking for advice, for information on how to make money from home or blogging or whatever it is that you're selling. You don't want to always come off like the expert and somebody who just knows it all and has all the answers and um, it's just selling, selling, selling. You want to be personable and talk to them like you, they're your friend. So those are my three tips for creating a blog post that sells and if you enjoyed this and you found value, please click the link below. You can find out what I'm doing to make money from home blogging and leave a comment somewhere on the bottom here and let me know what you thought. Have a great day.